Welcome to the fifth episode for the Brawl Esports game review. Today we're gonna go over SK versus Seda. Yeah, it's been a while. I haven't been uploading for like a week. My bad. So this is the last monthly final, and there are three EU teams that can go directly to the world final. And Zeta and Totem are going to world final. It's been decided. And the third team hasn't been decided. So it's gonna be either SK Gaming or Foot or ANR, I believe. So one of these three teams will go to world final. They're just competing for the last spot. And yeah, it's really important for SK Gaming. If they can win this one, they just increase their chance to go to the world final directly. I know they've been kind of struggling for the past few months. They made some roster changes. I think they are playing with OPE instead of GA, VGX. But yeah, this is the first set. They're gonna play Knockout. So far, Zeta picked RT, Sprout, and Bell. Okay. I do like their comp, like, no matter what SK Gaming picked, I think they can do well. They got the tank counter, they got the thrower, just they got everything, they got the range. And SK Gaming so far picked Goss, Bonnie, and Barley, okay. Well, Barley doesn't have a good matchup against the Sprout, especially on this map, but like I said, this is knockout, so if Barley can just play passive and use the heal gadget very well, definitely winnable for Barley, so we'll see how it goes. An RT counters Bonnie, so this guy has a good matchup against the Bonnie. And Bell can do decent against the Goss. As long as he doesn't fit the super on Goss, this should be winnable. But OP is going up. He got the heal gadget from the Barley and going for RT, okay. Really good play by OPE. It's better to just, you know, not feeling the super and just go for the next round. Yeah, as you guys can see here, they're not feeling the super for the next round, you know. Okay, so really good start from SK Gaming. Sprout is gonna put the wall on the right, but they can't really go up because of Barley. So I guess Barley P was pretty decent. Even though like Sprout can outrange the Barley, Barley has a better gadget in this mode. So yeah, really good tap by Bell. I saw some pro players saying that Gero, who's playing Bell, is the best player in the EU. So we'll see how it goes. Yoshi missed the super, but OPE is still going really aggressive and got the kill, okay. Yeah, OPE just carrying the SK gaming right now. And Ikaos is doing well, he's just, he knows how to like win against the Sprout. And Yoshi, even though he missed the super, they win the match, so who cares. Alright, so SK gaming won the first round. Let's see how Zeta adjusts. I mean, Zeta is the number one team in EU, so... Yeah, Bonnie is going really aggressive again because he knows he can get a heal from Barley, so really good play. But this time Zeta is playing a bit more passive, and Yoshi already got the super against the RT, so really good. I feel like SK just playing passive until the poison comes. Once the poison comes, they can just use the shield. OPE can go aggressive with the shield, which is good. Yeah, this is why... Knockout is kind of different because even though like Zeta has a better matchup overall, this is Knockout, so yeah. I think SK will win the first round. Yeah, they exactly know what they're doing and I feel like Zeta just doesn't have enough damage, I don't even know. I feel like they just gotta take down either Barley or Bonnie before the poison comes to win this matchup. But SK playing really smart and he got the super again, okay. Yeah, honestly OP just carrying the match. Like, he's getting every kill at the start, so it's easier for SK to move up, and nice kill by Yoshi. Yeah, this is over. This time, Zeta going Barley first pick in Cannon Grande, okay. Yeah, I mean, Tig is banned, so I do like this pick. But I feel like this is Bounty, this is not Knockout, so if SK Gaming goes, like, Sprout, they can do much better than what they did in Knockout. They're gonna go Cordelia's first pick, okay, I see. Yeah, I mean, this is before the balance changes, like, Cordelia's and the Shelly were the two best brawlers, so definitely makes sense. They didn't even pick the Shelly, so... Okay, so they're going Nita and Cordelia's. Shelly hasn't been picked yet, like, if it was NA, probably Shelly first pick always happens, but... Zeta picked Barley instead. Okay, so now they're going Shelly. This is almost like impossible to beat this comp. The last pick is pretty important, so we'll see okay. So they're going Double Thrower and Shelly. I don't know, I feel like they're facing Cordelius though. So unless they play like almost perfect, I think it's gonna be pretty tough. And Mortis. So Mortis against the Double Thrower is definitely good. But he's facing Shelly, so yeah. Obviously they're gonna group up, so the Mortis can't kill either Willow or Barley. They gotta watch out the Cordelia super. And OPE, okay. I don't know about the play by OPE. 
I mean, he could definitely get a kill on Shelly before the Shelly get the super, so yeah, I guess good try, but he wasted too many dash. Yeah, Barley is just too good when Tig is banned, so they're just grouping up. Shelly just waiting for Mortis, so I think what they can do is Cordelius using the super on Shelly, and then like Mortis going in. Yoshi went down to Barley, that is not good. Yeah, I think OPE just gotta wait for the Cordelia super and then he can just go in. But right now it's almost impossible. Zeta has to like not feeling the Cordelia super, just keep the range. He bait the Shelly super so... But they're doing so well against the Cordelia's, okay. They got a kill on Nita. It's really up to Yoshi, like, like Yoshi needs to play so well to win this comp. Shelly kind of wasted that super, I don't know if that was good. Now this is going over time, nice super by Willow. Actually, he's gonna go down, okay. But Shelly got the super, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I see what they're trying to do. Like, they gotta just, oh, okay. Nice play by OPE, actually he's gonna go down. Yeah, I think OPE not playing his best. Yoshi, I don't know what he's doing to be honest. He needs to, I don't know, it's pretty tough. Like he's facing, you know, Willow and Barley. So the only way for them to win is either OPE getting the kill or just Yoshi get a super and, you know, super the Shelly, which is pretty tough as well because obviously they're gonna group up. So they're not gonna let him to use the super on Shelly. But they're doing pretty well. OPE trying to like bait the Shelly super, but now he's pretty smart and now wasting the super. Okay, so he bait the super again. And Nita got the super, so this is good for SK. I guess they're gonna wait for the last 10 seconds and do something. Ikaos needs to put the bear, okay. So now they're gonna waste all the ammo and... Oh, that was not the good play by SK. I feel like Yoshi hasn't gotten the super. Okay, now he got the kill, that's good. But OPE needs to watch out, okay. He bait the Shelly super again. He needs to use the super on Shelly, then... Ah, oh, he missed the super. Good try though. Actually, they need one more kill. Oh, can they win? Okay. Oh, they won actually. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what happened, but they got a kill. Ikaos played so well. There was a pretty good comeback by SK. And OP used the gadget to get the mid control and he's gonna go for it. Okay. That was such a beautiful play. He used the gadget and get into the mid so they don't know where the Mortis is. So really smart play. And OP is going up again and bait all the ammo. Okay, alright. And OP got the super again. He's gonna go for it, I think, no? He bait the Shelly gadget though. And going for it again. I mean, an Ike House went down, but still they're winning by 8 star. They just need like 2 more kills to win this set. OPE needs to watch out though because he got 6 star. And Yoshi got the super, so that is really good. Oh, okay, he got super by Willow, so he's gonna go down to Shelly. Oh, actually, yeah. And OPE gotta watch out. Really good play. He used all the gadget though, so... And Nita went down as well. Zeta is actually coming back. They just gotta... I think, yeah. All they gotta do is just OPE, not dying to Zeta, then they should be good. Yeah. He just gotta run away. Then everything should be good. Yeah. OPE doesn't need to go up. Okay, yeah. I don't think they can come back. Okay, there was a... Amazing play by SK again. Okay, so SK Gaming is one set away. I think if they win this, this is the first monthly final win, I believe. I'm not sure. But, you know, it's pretty tough to win the EU monthly final because there are so many decent teams. So Zeta got the first pick again. They're gonna go Terra first pick. Pretty good pick. I mean, Crow is not banned. SK Gaming is gonna go Grey. Grey against the Terra. I haven't seen, like, someone picking Grey against the Terra, but they might have a really good strategy to win so we'll see how it goes i mean they got the last pick so and they're gonna go jesse okay i guess they're gonna go jesse mid with the new gear she can deal so much more damage and heal more on the turret so yeah i mean decent pick i'll say i'm just not sure about the great pick especially on this map it's pretty hard to hit a shot okay yeah overall zeta draft is pretty good sk gaming draft Sometimes they're kinda, I don't know, maybe I'm not good enough to like <laughs> understand their comp, but they still make it work. So they, be, they won the first two set. Their comp is so good. Crow, Mr. P, and Terra. Let's see what they pick. I'm kinda curious. Okay, Poco. Honestly, I think this pick is pretty good. Like, Poco is a gadget that can cancel the Crow gadget. I don't know, I kinda like, I think they're gonna go Poco like lane. 
which is pretty underrated. So we'll sell you clothes. Okay, so Mr. P is going mid. And Gray is going mid. I see, okay. And Poco is going lane. Terra is using the vision gadget. I don't know if that's the good idea. I mean, they're facing Jesse and Poco, so it's almost useless unless he's facing Gray. But so far, they're playing pretty passive. There's no reason to like go aggressive here. Really good shot by Icaos. Almost killed a Mr. P. Yeah, Garo doesn't want to feed the super on Poco. I think Garo can play a bit more aggressive because his super can be really good. But at the same time, he doesn't want to feed the super on Gray. And OPE going a bit more aggressive. Really good gadget by Icaos. And now they got the lane control. Good gadget by Terra. Almost went down to Poco, but they got a kill. And now Terra is going aggressive. It's gonna be pretty hard to get a kill on Terra. Crow is gonna go down to Poco. Zeta needs one more gem to win this one. And Terra got a super, so all you gotta do is just get one kill. And okay. Yeah, I don't know about that super by Poco, but I don't think they're gonna come back because Terra is a super. He's gonna go for Jesse, which is a good idea, you know? No need to make a risky play. And this time Poco is going mid. I don't know if that's the good idea. I like the gray mid, but Icaos is gonna miss the gadget. Jesse is not doing well against the Terra. Good play by OPE. He got the super, so he can go aggressive. Really good super, so they can't heal up. And OPE with the aggressive play, okay. A nice tap by Yoshi. Really good gadget by Crow. They gotta watch out. Okay, Poco. He might go down, actually. He's pretty low. He needs to heal up. And it's a pretty tough matchup for Gray to win against the Crow, you know? But he got the super at least. But yeah, Gray pick wasn't the best in my opinion, but... OPE going way too aggressive, that was not good. Now we can solo the Gray and Poco. Nice play by Crow. The Crow is playing so well in this entire set. And Yoshi kinda missed the super. Aikaos is gonna go down. Oh! Okay, nice kill. And OPE is going aggressive. He got the super, okay. Yeah, that was a really smart play by OPE. He needs to watch out though. Garo got the super. That was kinda waste of super. He should've just went down and wait for the next super, but yeah, I think that was too late anyway, so... Good play by OPE. Okay, so SK gotta win one more game to win the entire monthly final, so... We'll see how it goes. They switched the lane. Terra is going right lane. Really good gadget by Icaos. OP got the super. They're playing kind of aggressive here, but okay. Good gadget by Gray. And Garo is going up. He almost got the super, I believe. Yeah, SK winning by two gems, which is pretty huge. I think as long as Poco gets a super, they can pick up some gem. Nice pinch. Okay. That was a really good pinch by SK. I think they're gonna win this game. They got eight gems, so okay, they got nine gems. They just need one more gem to win the monthly final. But now they're kind of getting pushed back. Aikao's gonna go down, but he got the super at least. I think they could have gotten 10 gems already. I mean, they don't want to make any risky play, so... Yoshi is gonna put the turret in a TP, okay? That was pretty funny, but it actually kind of worked. Aikao is going up and gonna go down to Terra. OPE kind of overextended there. Ah, there was no reason for him to go aggressive. Okay, let me watch again. So, Gray used the TP on the full HP Terra. So I feel like using the TP on the full HP Terra is just too risky because obviously Terra can get a super, most likely, with the 3 shot. So, I don't know, that was kind of like way too risky play by Icaos. And then OP kind of overextend there, so... Yeah, kind of unfortunate, but Zeta is taking the third set. Like when I was a pro player, I think I got reverse swept only one time, but the feeling when you got river swept, it just sucks, you know? You just gotta keep cool, you know? Not being too excited after winning two set. But yeah, this is the heist. This time SK got the first pick, so they're gonna go Bell. I don't know about Bell first pick, especially when Zeta banned Crow. They could've went Colette, in my opinion, but we'll see. But if they went like Colette, I think Zeta would go like Eve and Bell, so... Bell first pick definitely makes sense. They're gonna go even Cordelius. Pretty toxic comp. That just prevents SK to go like Carl or any tanky brawler. So yeah, Cordelius. Honestly, not the best map, but you can make it work. They're gonna go Bell and Brock. I like this pick, but 
for the last pick, they need someone who can counter any tank or any aggressive brawler like Carl. Because, uh, I mean, yeah, Jesse pick is okay. I feel like Zeta can go someone like Carl. I mean, Jesse can definitely counter tank. Yeah. Obviously, they're gonna go Carl. This is my first time watching the game, so I don't even know what they're gonna pick. I just predict based on their picks. So, uh, yeah, the car pick was kind of obvious. If they don't have any brawler, they can like stop the car super. Obviously, car would be really good. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Car is gonna use the gadget to gain the mid control. Pretty classic play, but he's gonna go down. Really good tap by SK. Okay, nice gadget by OPE. Kari is gonna use another gadget to gain the mid control. I don't know if that's the good play, but at least they kind of got pushed back again, so definitely worth trying. But Garok is gonna go down. Now he's going down. SK really hitting shot. Okay, and he used a, another gadget in the first 30 second and get a double kill. So I guess it worked. Now we're going aggressive there and get a kill, and now they can do some damage. Gero is gonna go down, but they dealt 20%, which is not enough. OPE got the super, so... Oh! Okay, nice super by Cordelius. He cancelled the Brock super. But now, now he's gonna go up. He's gonna go down to Icaos. Icaos being really tapping this match. And OPE doing some damage on the safe. Yoshi got the super as well, so he's gonna put the turret. He wasted the gadget, but yeah, really good. Super by Cordelius again. He's gonna go for Jesse. Almost went down, but good try though. Zeta is winning by 10%, and they got the mid control. The Cordelius is playing really aggressive. I think that makes sense because Cordelius obviously get outranged by this brawler. So the only way for him to get a super is just going aggressive, trying to like dodge some shot and just you know get a super. So I like how he plays Cordelius. Garo got a kill on Jesse, and yeah. They're gonna win the first round. Okay, good play by Zeta again. Yeah, when the enemy is the last pick, you can't really pick three single shot brawlers, you know? Because obviously Kara can counter pretty easily. They're going aggressive. It looks like they're just, you know, going up and just doing nothing. But actually, it makes sense because they get outranged by Bell, Brog, and Jesse. So the only way for them to like gain the mid control is by going aggressive and just get a super. Because once they get a super, they can find a way to go up. So right now, SK is doing so well. They dealt 30%. Good super by OPE. Yoshi got a kill on Eve. Yeah, Zeta is playing really aggressive to get a super. Okay, nice play by Carl. But yeah, so far, Zeta didn't do any damage in the safe. SK been playing really well with this comp. Like, they're hitting so many shots. But yeah, it's pretty tough. You have to play, like, perfect. Like, hit, hitting almost every shot for the entire game. But that is pretty hard, you know? Because you're facing one of the best players. Carl got the super, so now they're getting pushed back. Gero is going up and got the kill. They did a lot of damage. They almost came back. And Cordelia is in the corner, but really good kill by OPE. Actually, they might be able to win this one. They can get rid of the turret. OPE doing some damage. They're gonna go for the final push, but yeah, OPE can deal a lot of damage on the save, so I don't think Zeta can win this one. If they can like hit same amount of shot like in the last game, they can definitely win, but I don't know, I think it's gonna be that easy. While Cordelia is going aggressive, Carl doing some damage in the safe, so really good team play. Now we're just using the gadget and just go aggressive, try to get a super. Garo using the gadget really aggressively, and he's gonna go down to Icaos. Really good tap by Icaos there. He got the kill, but he's gonna go down to Cordelia's, I believe, yeah. But Yoshi got the super, so Yoshi needs to do some damage with the turret. There was a really good turret by Yoshi. Deal to like 9%, which is not good enough. Still better than nothing. You have to play perfect with this comp. And the draft wasn't the best, in my opinion. And Cordelius is gonna go for Jesse, I believe. OPE is doing some damage on the safe. That was huge. But nice kill by Garo. Yeah, SK just doing really well. They're hitting a lot of shots. Just a comp diff. Yoshi gonna put the turret in the mid. I don't know about the turret, I mean, they're doing a lot of damage in the save. So many Eve pet. Yeah, they dealt 70%. Garo using the super to waste their ammo, I believe. I don't think SK can come back, especially when Cordelia is at the super. Ikao is doing some damage, but the bell shot doesn't have good damage. 
Good super by Cordelius again. Yeah, this is GG. Nice play by Zeta though. Okay, so this is the last set. Whoever win this set will win the monthly final. And Zeta got the first pick, okay? I mean, for the past like two months, I've never seen the same thing getting the first pick every time. Because technically, like last pick is better than first pick. Yeah, they got the Nita first pick and SK is going with Cordelius, okay? These EU teams are never going Shelly first pick. Maybe I missed something, but they figured out the way to like counter Shelly, I believe. Okay, so Crow and Cordelius. I like the first two pick and they got the last pick as well So the Zeta needs to go someone they can like do decent against the dynamite That kind of limits like Zeta to pick some of the brawlers Yeah, this is why last pick is really good, but they haven't picked a brawler yet So the last pick should be someone they can counter Dynamite, we'll see. Bunny isn't good enough to counter Dynamite, so okay, yeah. So since they pick Gray, SK can't go Dynamite, I believe. I mean, they can still pick it, but it's just too risky in my opinion. I think they can go like Spike. I don't think Shelly is the best pick, okay. Yeah, I think Bunny and Crow will go mid and the other brawlers will go lane. We'll see how it goes. Bunny is going mid and Crow is going mid as well. Bunny has just so much HP. And so he can just basically like run it down against the crow but you gotta watch out the crow gadget so you just gotta be really smart and try to like bait the crow gadget but so far SK got the mid control it's because they have a better lane Icaus is gonna block the gray shot okay really good gadget by the spike and Nita got the kill really good super by OPE Got the double kill with the poison. Garo got the super though, really good cleanup. Maybe like Spike wasn't the best pick. I don't know what could have been the better pick, but they used the slow on the Bonnie. I don't know about this super by Crow. Garo kind of break the wall, so I guess that's good, but they didn't get the kill. Icaus cleared the ball just in case. And OPE is doing good job, okay? Double slow. And I think Bonnie should go down here. Actually, yeah, Bonnie playing really good. Garo got the super, so he can do some crazy things because Spike doesn't have a gadget. So I guess Gray is just playing really good. And OPE with the super, but really good pass by Bonnie. But I think they can score, yeah. Oh, actually, no. Garo got the super again, okay. Garo is playing really good. This guy, like I said, people saying this guy is the best EU player. Nita got the super, so now we can just put the super there. Really good gadget by the Nita. And now they can kind of go up. OPE got the super. He's gonna go down though. He's not gonna use the super. And Garo can just go up. Actually, can they score? Yeah, they can score. I don't know what SK can do to win this matchup. Yeah, they're going really aggressive at the start. They need to score really early because at the start, SK has a better matchup. So Zeta needs to kind of like wait until they use all the gadget, then they can just get a free kill. But right now, SK is playing really well. They're kind of pushing them back. And Garo is going to use the super. Didn't get a kill, but they kind of pushed them back. So good super by OPE, I think. Yeah, they kind of pushed them back. He went down, but... Now I cows put the super in the mid. Can they score? I think. Oh, it was close. I cows? Yeah. They should score, right? Yeah. Really good play by I cows. Now Cordelia's got a super, so like I said, if SK can score really early, then it's really good for SK. Really good play by Yoshi there, changing the super. Oh no way. I think they could have scored. They cannot Ah oh, no. Let me rewatch again. So Yoshi is the super. It's just OPE. I don't know. I think he kind of like moved to left. He could just go straight. I don't think he has enough HP. I don't know. That was really close though. So whatever. They can pinch Crow here. But Crow got the super. So really good super by Yoshi. Okay. Yeah, this should make them win the match. I believe. They all play well. And Bonnie can't score this. So this is getting intense. The grand final is always the really close match, especially in EU. I've seen a lot of like 3-2 match, but again, SK has a really good start. Like I said, if they can score early, it's really good for SK. They just gotta do well here, but really good super by Bonnie actually. Now Zeta got the mid control, but OPE got the super again. I don't know how he's getting so many super. Yeah, actually Crow can get a super pretty easily from Bonnie, but he's gonna go for... Okay, yeah, they're gonna score. I don't think they can defend that. I cows use all the gadgets, so like Spike without the gadget is almost like just bad, you know? It's so easy to play against because Spike has a low HP. 
And I don't know Yoshi could have scored. No, I don't know how they didn't score that again. Right, let me rewatch. So Yoshi could have just walked in. He was waiting for OPE to tank the shot, but I think if he just walk up because he had a shield gear. I don't know if that was a good idea. I think he could have just walk up, not just waiting for OPE to tank the shot. Yeah, that was gonna unfortunately for SK. They had like two good opportunities to like score, but really good play by Bonnie again. He can maybe get a kill on Icaos. He's dodging some shot. Okay, he's gonna go down now, but that was a really good play. Now they got only 20 seconds to come back. OPE got the super, but he's not gonna use the super. Unfortunately, I don't think they can score, yeah. Really good play by Gero there. And they're gonna win the monthly final. There was another reverse sweep match. Wow. Zeta and Replay Totem is going word directly. And like I said, it's either Foot, SK, or ANR competing for the last spot for the world final. If they don't win, they're gonna just go for LCQ. So yeah, these are the eight teams that are going world final directly. Crazy Raccoon, Zeta, Replay Totem, it's either Food, SK, or ANR, FA Mini Pekas, and LG, Tribe Gaming, and United TOC for China. And these are the LCQ race. Chess Mega A, unfortunately, they didn't make word, but they're gonna go LCQ, S Team and Good Team, Clash, and so many good teams like Reject, Chess Mega Gaming EA, Navi. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna make a tier list like for the world final, but I didn't watch like enough games this year. Maybe I can like ask a pro player. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.